So Hannah said she wanted to make animals look different. She wanted to give a chicken lizard skin, or she wanted to give a human fur. Now, I've chosen to show you how to give a human rabbit fur. Um, you can use the techniques to give an animal lizard skin if you want, if that's what you want to do. Now, for this, I've chosen two images. I've got a zombie and I've got some rabbit fur. Two are going to work quite nicely. Now, you know to use a clone stamp to take it, and you've just done that tutorial, or you've watched with the tutorial, and you're pretty confident with it. One of the nice things about the clone stamp is you can clone stamp between two layers. You can also choose whatever brush you want in the clone stamp. So, the first thing I want to do is I've got my clone, tamps, clone stamp tool selected, and I'm going to choose my brush. And because I want to make it look like fur, I need a brush like fur. So, I've chosen, oddly, a fur selection of brushes to get me the fur to put onto this zombie. And that'll just, it'll just make it fit a little bit nicer, it'll look a little bit more natural. I'm going to take the brush quite small, that's about 60, there we go. So I've got a new layer here, I've then got my zombie, and then I've got my fur. So I'm going to hold down the OK and set the target for the fur. And then I'm going to click on layer 4 and paint the fur onto this guy. Rather than painting it directly onto him, so that then I can't do anything afterwards, I'm going to paint it onto a new layer. So let's just paint all the way around his head. Careful not to get his eye in. Very, very quickly indeed, he's got some fur. He's almost a splinter zombie, splinter from the turtles. If I use one of the dark in effects, I should be able to get some of the fur coming through his face. Looking quite bizarre, the light in the effects are going to work even better. So that's on the blending mode, you don't really have to play with that. But go back to normal, really simple effect of giving someone fur. So if I take the opacity down a little bit, it'll probably even look even subtler. I did one the other day, it looked a slight bit better because I wanted to keep the mouth free. And that gives someone fur really quick, really easy. Now if you want to give a chicken lizard skin, for example, like you've asked, what you need to do is you need to get some brushes of scales and such like. You want to get an image of a chicken, you want to get a picture of the of the lizard texture you're talking about and then clone stamp that texture into the individual bits of the chicken. Now I had a go at that, I wasn't as happy with it as this one, as the zombie, but that's what I came out with. See, I used a snake, I think it was a bow, uh, bow snake, um, so that's why we've got the bright stripes of colour. It hasn't worked all that brilliantly, but if you have a play I'm sure you can get some quite nice results.